Hello and welcome to my channel. This video is going to be about how we live in a trinary system, aka a three sun system, and how the Egyptians tried to tell us the same thing. Now, first we're going to talk about some articles that uh, oh, the European uh, Southern Observatory tells us, uh, NASA tells us, and this other article from sciencealert.com. But basically, it is estimated that up to 85% of all stars could be binary pairs or even triple or quadruple systems. And over 50% of all sun-like stars are binary pairs. Now NASA in this article says the same thing. While multi-star systems seem exotic to us in our orbit around our solitary sun, multi-star systems are in fact just as common as single stars. Well, the European Southern Observatory article is just saying the exact same thing, but my point is, is me and others believe we live in a trinary system. Now, as far as the Egyptians part, this, this picture shows how the Egyptians were talking about three suns. Uh, in this picture, we're talking about our sun here. And this is Ra and Horus. And now Ra is a blue spectrum sun that is obviously, uh, well, it's not obviously, but much bigger than ours. And Horus is a red spectrum sun. Now, you may have heard about those, but they're also called the blue Kachina and the red Kachina and with the Hopi prophecies. Now, we have seen signatures of Horus and Ra. Um, when now we've seen them on a, a camera that was called the Grumpy Moose, or it was, ba it was based in Alaska. It was an all-sky cam that had an uh, MRI overlay. Now, magnetics don't flare, so that's why the Eric Briggs, who had, was looking at this and showed us, shows us this all the time on his channel, this is a nighttime shot. This is showing r Ra uh, at the nighttime, and what we're looking for is a signature here. That we do what we have here is a magnetic signature of Ra here, and we have uh, a long, a long side or a short side and a long side, and we have the long side and the short side depicted here in this Egyptian picture. Now, in the, on the same camera during the day, we have this magnet, magnetic signature which is Horus. And this other diamond is the signature of our sun. And if you look inside Horus's signature, there's holes. And right here, this is Horus's box of magnetic signatures, AKA planets and moons. Now, Ra's signatures are not in a box, but they're here, depicted in different ways. But all these are his planets and moons. Now, also in this picture, this is our sun, and it has nine signatures with this to s signify our nine planets. Now we have, we know this is Venus, Earth, Neptune, Saturn, Jupiter, Mars, and Mercury. Now we aren't sure which is if this is Neptune or Pluto between these two signatures here, but there's nine signatures, so we have nine planets. Uh, this is depicting Earth, 
and her magnetosphere. Uh, what we have here is a like a metal plate showing 1748 Hertz. Uh, we know this is uh, human DNA tied in with Earth. Uh, we also have Raf's, uh, Ra's staff. Now we've seen Ra's staff in uh, -do -do, here, which is from this is from a satellite orbiting the Earth inside our magnetosphere and magnetopause. This is the magnetopause or bow shock. Well, this was taken in January of 2019. It's showing a magnetic signature of staff's uh, raw staff. Now, this is blue, meaning it is not connected to Earth at all. So it's a standalone signature. We have also seen a signature for Ra, and we know it's Egyptian by we have Ra's Ra's magnetic signature with the conical king's cap, and the ball on top, and the dingly cobra. Well, we have the conical king's cap, the ball on top, and the dingly cobra. Now we know that the Egyptians did not speak phonetically. They spoke magnetics and energy. And I did find this site to say the hieroglyphs are not phonetic sounds and thus were never deciphered by Thomas Young or Jean Francois Champollion. Mainstream Egyptology and Kemptology are both derived from the assumptions that hieroglyphs should be translated into phonetic sounds and thus letters of an alphabet. By doing so, each glyph or picture is instead represented only by a few letters or its original pictographic meaning is lost, thus being open for massive misinterpretations. This method, method of deciphering the hieroglyphs was used in both Kemptology and mainstream Egyptology for centuries and is entirely a false practice. It has com completely corrupted the original sacred text and their true pictographic meanings. So when you understand that the Egypts, Egyptians were talking about energy and magnetics, you can start to decipher their wall carvings. And this we know is energy flow, specifically halo wave to Ouroboros Taurus field. And you can learn a lot of these symbols, especially the energy flow and magnetics through Scientific Lee's channel. He do, does have two channels, but uh, his main channel is where you want to get started. Specifically, he does have two playlists. Uh, I don't have them open. One is... Uh, the motion of everything, a field defined, and the other one I don't recall right offhand. But you could go with those two playlists and you can start understanding what the Egyptians were talking about in their wall carvings. And even other ancient civilizations, the Mayans, for example, um, uh, and the Peruvians. So... Let me get reorganized here. So back to the trinary system is the Egyptians knew about this because they are showing two, uh, three suns here. We're not talking about gods. They were talking about suns, planets, and moons. And this picture here shows us. They're showing us that they knew about the three suns and they do come in a cyclical event and that is basically what they are hiding from us with all these other distraction stories and Nibiru and you know all the other things they talk about to try and hide the fact that um, magnetics are everything and our our universe and from the molecular level to the galactic is governed by electromagnetics. So 
to basically, you know, uh, we can use our hearts to connect to the field or the divine matrix, as some people call it. So, again, this is why this image is on my uh, YouTube channel and my BitChute channel is because it is proof that this is our second son. This is our first son. We have both signatures. And uh, this is Ross' signature that is behind us. And it shows... Now, they've shut down this camera back in, I think, 2017. But this is an older image of his signature that's on the night side. So we know Ra is behind Earth and Horus is behind our sun. And we know that because of all the, we know it's a red spectrum sun and what do we see most mornings and evenings? We see red in our skies. So, I'm just basically going through and make sure I'm covering everything. So I'm going to go back to this. Science knows that it is just as common to have a binary or a trinary system, sun solar system. So it's not unusual to think that we only have one sun. It's just as common to have more than one. And the Egyptians knew about it. We know about it now. So, this is my video about it. I do want to show you, if you are interested in more information, uh, you can request to join my Facebook group called Catfish Glass Eye. Uh, it is a private group, but you can find it and request to join. Um, if you know somebody who's in it, they can send you an invite as well. It's just, it's private just to keep average Joe Schmo who who wants to come in and just cause problems or throw a bunch of some simulator crap at us and won't listen and just so that's why it's a private group because we know the sun simulator is BS and harp is not being used against us and directed energy weapons are not being used against us to start fires or anything like that so regardless of the pictures you see it's just not true. Now this is Eric Briggs's Facebook page. This is his research page that has nine years of his research of all this information. And this is he has been teaching me and others. And that's what he does is he goes on uh, YouTube and makes lots of videos. Uh, this is his channel, Angry Catfish Briggs. He's the person that has discovered a lot of information and does not give you any of the bullshit. So I highly suggest you it, go to his Facebook page and go check it out because this is the person that has figured a lot of it out and... Uh, would you definitely need to check him out so all right guys that's the video for tonight enjoy the rest of your evening